Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lady Smite and today we are doing the random genetics challenge that everyone seems to be doing. So the gist of this is we get this sim and randomize everything about her. We get a male sim and randomize everything about him. Then we get a genetically created child between them using the genetics, uh, play with genetics thing here. And then without changing any physical features of them, so you can't change their weight or skin tone, hair colour, like eye colour, any of that stuff, without changing any of those shapes or any of that, we try and make the child as normal looking as possible. I'm not going to say as beautiful as possible because everyone's oh. beautiful in their own way, right? Uh, I'm going to probably do two kids, so do a male and a female, but I will just make one child and then make them a twin so the child, that child will be pretty much exactly the same and do the boy and girl, just because it'll be a bit more interesting. So let's get started with this. So first of all, we're going to go randomize your face. We'll, we'll do three. So there we go. So this is starting face. I'm going to do three for all of them. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, green hair. So this is gonna go beautifully. Fantastic. And one, two, three. Uh, so far, not terrible. Getting a little bit less great. Ears. This is where it's very risky. Okay, she has normal ears by the looks of it, so we're okay on that front. And uh, she's not bad. She's, she's okay. Uh, let's randomize body. Uh, pretty normal. Nothing really changed there. Um, she's wearing this. Um, we'll just get rid of these. Great. Um, very outdoorsy, the green hair and the camping gear. Can I randomize makeup? No. Well, we'll just leave where she is. So this is the mom. We will give you a name. One, two, three. Alexis Sherwood. Nice. Um, and as for this, I should probably get... Uh, I believe I have a website, so I'll just get that up pretty quickly if I can remember where it is. Box. Here we go. And we need to randomize for an adult. And she is a nerd brain, unflirty, vegetarian, creative. Okay, so nerd brain. Where is it? Here we go. Nerd brain. Creative. Vegetarian, unflirty was unflirty. There we go, unflirty. <laughs> well, they're gonna have a great time together, and then we can make a man. Oh, you look fabulous already. What's your name going to be, sir? Uh, Philippe Fortner. Okay, and we're gonna randomize your traits first. Okay, randomize. And he is serial romantic, vegetarian, needs self showed. So at least they're both vegetarians. At least they've got that in common. So self showed. Oh, vegetarian, neat, and serial romantic. Mm, not the best in a husband. And let's get to randomizing your traits. So face. One, two, three. Uh, oh, I probably should randomize teeth. One, two, three. So he's got the gap there. Let's just quickly randomize her teeth. Whilst I remember. I think she's actually quite cute. I mean, the green hair's a bit much, but... Nice. Okay, back to randomizing this lovely gentleman. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, they've both got green hair. This child is going to be green-haired. That's beautiful. Interesting eyes. Uh, very small eyebrows. Probably better on the... Uh, Facial hair front, I'd say they're quite normal. Yes, okay. Still kind of okay. And forehead. And body type. K. 
Okay, not bad, not bad. One, two, three. Oh, he's a bit more uh, formal looking. Uh, maybe not so much. Okay. Nice. I like it, Philippe. You're looking fabulous. So we have two beautiful green head sims. <laughs> I think they have the same skin tone as well, so that's quite good. And then I'm going to go play with genetics. And we want teens. We want her. Oh, one, two, three. Okay. <laughs> Bit of a squishy face, but it's it's doable. Obviously got the green hair. And then uh, I want torso genetics. Yeah, we're making you a second teen child. One, two, three. Okay, so this is what we've got to work with. Apparently I have to fix their relationship. Sorry. There we go. And... There we go. Uh, quickly randomize the things. So, painter extraordinaire, Jarrett self assured. It's your one. <laughs> and you'll get public enemy slob and evil. Mm. Okay. So, public enemy. Evil slob. And his name, two, three, is John. And your name, one, two, three, Chana. Okay, well, this is what we're dealing with right now. This is what I've got to work with. I'll show you them both up close. So, interesting, not necessarily terrible. The green's pretty unique but we kind of knew that was going to happen they were doomed to have green hair um but i'm just going to go off camera uh well i'm going to speed this section up not go off camera but you won't hear me talking speed this a bit up and then come back and explain what i did as best i can because uh whew. it's gonna be interesting guys
Okay, and we are back. So this is Chana. I kind of went with the artsy oh. teen rebel -y sort of vibe because she's jealous and self-assured. So I imagine she'd be a bit rebellious, but obviously made her extraordinaire. And uh, so this is her every day. She's actually like really cute when you think about it. I mean, from the side, it looks a little bit squishy, but she's got good teeth as well, which I know is considering both of her parents have messed up teeth. So I don't know, maybe the teeth don't affect the genetics like I thought they would. Uh, but yeah, so that's her every day. And I went with green themes with both of the children because they have green hair. They're basically like tanned plant sims, <laughs> seems to be what's happened. Uh, but I thought this dress was really cute and suits her. So she's got this and then she's got the uh, sort of green eyeshadow and green jewellery and green shoes. And this is her athletic wear. She has her glasses in most of her outfits other than her formal and sleepwear, obviously. And then this is her sleepwear. Very cute. Uh, party wear. I went with sort of more of like a boho hippie festival kind of look. Because I imagine she'd be into going to music festivals and stuff. And this is sort of what she would wear. And then swimwear. I went for this. I know it's a bit weird, but I quite liked the idea of it being a bit more... Not a full swimsuit, but still modest because it's lower on the legs because it's shorts and it covers up the like chest very well. So I thought she'd have that bit maybe. Just, you know, thought it'd be a bit more interesting. And then this is her brother. So this is Johan. Uh, interesting name for him. Um, so yep, he's got the green hair as well, which is uh, slicked back because since I thought he was a bit... Even though he's a slob and he's evil, I thought evil sort of meant like he'd be a bit more like well groomed because he'd want to sort of present himself in a certain way to pull off his master evil plans um, and then he's got like his little scruffy beard because he's still a slob and he's got his ripped clothes because he's a slob and sort of like just general relaxing chilling clothes that any teenage boy would wear um, formal I went for his like he's a super slick suave guy again I've stuck with the green theme because you know makes sense since they're both green-haired children with green-haired parents extraordinarily bright uh, athletic wear but you know still quite slobbish a bit baggy nothing too uh, tight or whatever because he's not that bothered sleepwear just wears pants very green thought it was quite cool quite like the little switches of pink <laughs> his party wear again he wouldn't really put too much effort into party wear he's got his ripped jeans and stuff he'd probably be in the corner scheming about what evil pranks he could pull on people and then swimwear which is pretty basic in most of his outfits he does have his plugs in except for he doesn't have any sleepwear and he doesn't have it in his formal wear but yep so these are the two kids um uh, again he's not that bad bit of a squishy face but interesting purple eyes i think she has blue eyes like her mum so yeah but um still they could have been a lot worse and yeah i might actually use them in a let's play one day because i think they're quite a cool little family very interesting i would change uh mom and dad's outfits <laughs> but i wouldn't change anything else about them i quite like the rest of the idea so that is uh my random genetics challenge i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like or leave a comment if you want to or if you're new and you'd like to see more of my update and be kept up and uh, of my more of my update more of my content and be kept up to date on what i've posted then feel free to subscribe and um, i hope to see you guys in the next video bye bye